Even your furniture might be entirely constructed out of molecule-sized computers. Intelligent specs that can reshape themselves according to how they're programmed. Professor Seth Goldstein calls it Claytronics. Claytronics is a form of programmable matter, a collection of computers. Imagine that each one of these little pieces of lead was a computer that could not just compute and communicate, but actually move around and then cooperate with all the other units to form dynamic 3D shapes. These tiny spheres are called catoms, computational atoms, that will be able to combine in clusters to become any shape you want them to be. It can move around, it can change its color. I imagine that claytronics will be used for just about everything. The first application will probably be the three-dimensional fax machine. The idea is we could send not just sound and picture, but actually the 3D shape itself. Place any object in a container full of claytronics, and they can determine its size and color. Then those dimensions can be transmitted to another bed of claytronics that will reassemble the exact object. Claytronics is a technology that is going to ride the sort of exponential growth curve that we see in many computer technologies. We could have 3D fax uh, within five years. Three-dimensional faxing is just one of many new ways we'll be able to receive information. We will have computers woven into our clothing, embedded into our bodies. We will carry multiple devices and they will talk to each other. TVs, computer monitors, MP3 players, internet devices. Displays surround us. How about one display? One you can wear right on your eye. The goal we have is to incorporate electronic devices onto a contact lens to make it a lot more sophisticated. Dr. Babak Parviz is a man with a vision that soon you'll be able to surf the internet on a transparent screen mounted directly on the surface of your eye. He's creating the smart contact lens. You can imagine a variety of applications for a display that's directly constructed onto a lens that you can pop into your eye. A wirelessly connected computer on your contact lens will change your life. I think we'll take several steps towards a more immersive experience of technology. And we'll start by what is called augmented reality, which is an ability to overlay the virtual world onto the real world. But is it really possible to build a screen right on your eye? We have been able to incorporate all the metallic interconnects that you need to make a circuit. So you could have a digital contact lens that connects wirelessly to outside devices within the next 30 years. Everything will be connected, and when I say everything, I mean everything. You will always be connected at very high broadband speeds, no matter where you are, even on a bus. With all that our smart future promises, taking the bus to work doesn't sound all that appealing. But what if you took the bus instead of going to work? Really? I can check that for you here. Dave Evans and Cisco are in the process of creating the world's smartest bus in San Francisco. It stands out. It's this big green bus. It's hard to miss it coming down the street. He sees a future where public buses let you stay connected to the outside world even providing information on anything they pass. The windows themselves become transparent displays where information about attractions and sites are overlaid based on where you are in the city and the context of what you're doing. And it'll be stuffed with navigational intelligence. Every bus has a GPS transponder on it so that passengers can know exactly where they are. And the bus will too, which is good, because in the future it'll drive itself. It'll be connected to the rest of the transportation infrastructure, 